I am now going to quickly show you how all those PDFs and metadata of items or references that were imported into Zotero were actually saved locally on my hard, hard drive or on your hard drive. To the left hand side top corner of the screen, I click on the edit drop down menu and then preferences. Now I choose or click on advanced. Then I click on files and folders tab. Now again I I click on show data directory button. A window pops up. I, I click on storage folder. That is where all the files are, are saved. Now this contains all the PDFs and all the metadata for each and every item or references that were um, imported to Zotero. One thing that you should know is that each of these folder represents an item or a reference in my Zotero library or in your Zotero library. And when I double click on each of these folders, I will get the, all the information about that particular item, including the PDF, as you can see right here and also the metadata, of course. So, if you look carefully, you will see that the folder that contains my entire library is found in C Drive, Users, Recording, Zotero. So, now I am going to change the location where my library is going to be saved. So I click on the custom or I choose custom radio button. Now I'm going to specify where I want it. I want my library to be saved. So um, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it, let's say, maybe I will call it try so there it is and then I am going to click on the select folder so now all my library will be saved in this folder and I am given given a warning saying that from now on whenever I upload or whenever I import items or references into Zotero this is where it is going to be saved. Am I, uh, so I will say yes, use the new directory, yes. And restart or quit Zotero and then restart it. When I restart Zotero, I can see that it is completely blank. Well, this is because I changed the directory of where my library is going to be saved so it is completely empty so um, let us now save an item or import an item to Zotero let's see how it goes here drag click on the item and then drag it drag it to the middle pane drop it now it's uploading I'm going to import another one Okay, so this is going to take a while. You will have to wait patiently. Once done, click on the close button. Okay, now my library now have two items. And I am now going to check whether the files were properly uploaded so I double click on the PDF and yes it is it has been uploaded successfully let me quickly verify the location of my library so I go back to edit main menu 
or the drop down menu and then I choose preferences and advance click on files and folders tab and yes here it is it is saved in C C Drive users folder recording Zotero and try remember the try folder was what I created previously so I know that the two newly uh, imported items into Z Zotero were definitely saved in try folder that was created by me some time ago I click on show data directory and now I choose or I click on the storage folder and yes two of the items that I uploaded to Zotero are physically stored in that folder that I created just now so now I know for sure yes they are found here good and if I want to change the directory back to the original or to the default um, drive I will just go back to the menu and then I click on the default radio button so again I will have to quit or exit Zotero and then restart let's do that and now I am back to my original Zotero or my previous project